Hey guys, welcome to BB Tech Quiz. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about um, SQL, structured query language, and working with MySQL, which is a branch of SQL used in web development. And uh, we're going to be working in SQL is also called SQL. Um, you'll hear that a lot. My MySQL Workbench, um, MySQL. We're going to be working in there today, uh, just talk, discussing some tips and tricks. This video isn't really about setting up the database or anything or a server to connect to. If you want a video about that, please just reach out in the comments and I can make a video. This video is more so interacting with uh, the SQL tables and uh, some tips and tricks to make things easier. So here we go. All right, so this is kind of a beginner video here. So we're just gonna go over some basics to start. Um, it'll open up like this initially and you'll see the name of the database that exists in this connection in this server. Um, you'll see Garage DB. That's the only database I have here. We'll click the little arrow on this expands. This is tables. We'll expand the tables. And you'll see there's three tables in this database. Now, the quickest trick that people use um, to just look at all the data in there is it loads quick. If you just click select, you right click on the table, select rows, limit 1000. And I'm going to go to each table and click this. And boom, I got all three of them opened. And when I click each set, I see the data set there down below. So I can go, okay, and I can see this one has six records, this table has 14, this table has two. Um, and then something really useful is, say, oh, I need to add a row to this. I want a project ID three. Um, what, what SQL code do I write for that? Well, something really neat, we're on projects table, we right click on that. Well, I want to copy to my clipboard an insert statement and it bases it on the structure of your database. So then you click control V, you paste it, it's already all written for you, the SQL code. All you have to do is put in your entries here in single quotes as strings. So I'll go, okay, it's gonna be single quote three uh, for the project ID. The project name is gonna be um, Brad's new car. And then the description is gonna be, he got a Tesla. Always remember to put it in single quotes. Did he note a string? And then um, I'm missing a parenthesis, that's why it's showing me an error there. And then I can just click this, run. You see a little green check mark down here, insert into one row affected. That's good, that's all we want. We run that, bam, third row is there in the table. And then this data can be accessed by your application now. Another cool little trick that I like to do, um, if you run select all, which is a pretty common SQL statement, just select all from database, it'll return all the data. But say the database I'm in, we'll click over to the project log, this is my biggest table, but some tables you deal with have millions of records. And say, hey, I'm looking for a log in this database where the person's name is Mary, what's a good way to search for that? Well, a trick that I like to use that's really useful is I'll go, select all from, um, actually we'll just copy and paste this down below because we're just gonna add a where statement. So select all from garage DB where the column that we wanna use, log name, and then we're just gonna use this cool statement like, and we're gonna go single quote parenthesis, or sorry, parenthesis, uh, percent sign, and then we're gonna type Mary percent sign single quote. Now the percent sign is a wild card. So it'll look in, in, it'll search the entire database, this column, where it's looking for the word Mary with any words before it and any words after it. So that percent sign that you see, I'll zoom in a little. I know I'm on a big resolution wide monitor here. So you see uh, percent sign, percent sign, then single quotes. So let's, let's run that and see what we get. Boom, we return Mary. Oh, well, is there somewhere in this database where it would return Brad? So I run that. Now, it will return anywhere it finds it. So you'll find multiple rows. For example, you see row one, two, three, and row nine all have a log name of Brad. And then, wait, I wanna look where the project ID is one. So we go project ID, we're switching the column here, is like, and we'll leave everything else there. We'll just put in the place of Brad one and we'll run that. Boom, everywhere the project ID is one. Now what about the project log ID? These are unique, so there should only be one 
one that exists. So we'll run this, we should get one entry. Ah, okay, I, I lied about that. Because of the, the wild cards there, we actually return anything with, with a one. It can be a one anywhere in the number. So if we wanted to return just the one row, we'd take out the wild cards. And then we would get just row one. So that's kind of a neat little trick when querying to use those percents and use the like. Because we could also, where project ID equals one. But then we're more limited. We can't, we can't do things we could with the other statement. Well, those are just a couple simple, real quick um, SQL tricks that I wanted to show you. So uh, thanks for joining me here at BB Tech Quiz. And I uh, hope to see you next time. See you later, guys.